The details from CTV's Peter Ackman in Miami. Sending their voices to the heavens, hundreds of Cuban Americans came together to thank God for answering their prayers. Josie Mustrapa and her family were exiled from Cuba 53 years ago. We knew that he was going to be gone one day, uh, but I mean, we waited a lot, a long time. But those prayers for change aren't stopping now with the death of Cuba's brutal dictator, because there's still more work to be done. We hope that Cuba made some change, um, the people in Cuba rise. Feelings that weren't so much echoed, but screamed in Miami's Little Havana. No Fidel, no Castro, no Castro in Cuba, no. Many Cuban exiles say what's needed is for the United States to push the island nation towards democracy. Many are angry at President Barack Obama's concessions to Raul Castro. Obama gave the house away, and Cuba didn't do anything. They keep oppressing people. In September, Donald Trump said what he would do. Can reverse them, and that I will do unless the Castro regime meets our demands. Not my demands, our demands. On U.S. political talk shows, support from a high-profile Cuban American for reimposing the lifted sanctions. Our goal is not to punish. Our goal is to figure out what can we do through U.S. policy. With the hope of one day giving Cubans what their American relatives enjoy today. Maybe learn from the prosperity of capitalism and freedom. Then maybe these tears of relief will eventually turn to joy. And we're hoping that everything will be better from now on. Your prayers will be answered. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Most here expect no demand that Donald Trump be true to his word and reinstate sanctions against Cuba within the first 100 days he's in office. Sandy. All right, Peter, thanks so much. CTV's Peter Ackman in Miami. Coming up after the break, Donald Trump's early morning Twitter tirade. They've got the Democrats and Jill Stein saying they do not accept the election results. She congratulated him and she conceded. An angry president-elect reacts to the growing support for recounts.